So let us go to the next slide and emphasize the algorithm that we have derived just now. In order to understand the algorithm, you need some terminology. For example, this Px is called the dividend. The Qx is called the divisor. The term that you get over here, here is called, the term that you get over here is called the quotient. And the 2x that you have got is called the remainder. Remember, uh, you will declare something as a remainder only when the degree of the denominator is higher than the degree of the numerator. This is how we will follow, this is the strategy that we will follow. So now you are very clear about the terminology. The numerator is the dividend, the denominator is the divisor, the term, the polynomial term that you get after dividing is called the quotient and the rational uh, and the remainder is something that where the degree of the numerator is smaller than the degree of the denominator. This is also called a rational function. If you look at polynomial as a function, then division of two polynomials is a rational function. Only condition that we are enforcing is qx should cannot be equal to 0. This is the condition is, which is always in place. Let me eliminate this and let us go and study the algorithm. So for division of polynomials, we will uh, use the following division algorithm which we have derived just now where in the first step what we will do is we will arrange the terms in the descending order of the degree and add the missing exponent with 0 as a coefficient. Then after adding the missing uh, 0, 0 as a coefficient after adding the missing exponents next what we will do is we will take the first leading terms or the leading monomials and we will divide the dividend monomial, the leading monomial of the dividend and the leading monomial of the divisor together and we will get some number which is which we will call as quotient, temporary quotient and that quotient we will multiply with our dividend. Once we multiply with our dividend, what we will actually do is we will subtract that from the original expression for the polynomial that is our numerator. Whatever is remaining we will treat that as the next dividend. Once we treat that dividend then we will check if the degree of that new dividend is higher than the degree of the denominator or uh, divisor. If yes then we will continue with the procedure. If no, we will terminate the procedure. This is how we will give the division algorithm. Uh, let us understand this division algorithm by using one example. So here is an example. This is the numerator 2x cube plus 3x square plus 1 divided by 2x plus 1. And I want to find the answer to this question. Let us figure out how to find the answer. So in the earlier quest, what I did is I have used the standard numerator denominator. Now there is a popular method for division of the polynomial, which is a which is called long division, which we, which works in a similar manner and the same division algorithm works, but you will have a better handle over the terms. So in this long division, what you will do is you will put a parenthesis over here and you will put 2x plus 1 outside the parenthesis and you will put this term that is 2x cube plus 3x square. Now remember the first step plus 0x plus 1. Okay. So uh, this is how we will write. Now according to our uh, standard terminology what we will do is we will take the leading terms 2x and 2x cube. So uh, somewhere in the rough you do that, what is 2x cube divided by 2x? This will give you x square. So you write x square over here, multiply x square with 2x plus 1. 
once you multiply x square with 2x plus 1 write that term over here 2x cube plus x square now uh, according to our algorithm divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor and get the mon monomial that monomial is x square over here next step multiply the monomial with the divisor and subtract the result from the dividend so this is the result from the dividend result from uh, multiplication and you are subtracting it from the div uh, dividend so this will cancel off so this will give me zero and 3x square minus uh, x square will give me 2x square plus 0x plus 1. This is the result. Okay. So now this result, I will check whether the degree of this result, this poly polynomial that I have obtained is greater or smaller than this. Okay. That is what we will do. Check if the resultant polynomial has a degree less than the divisor. That is not true. So we will go to step 2. What is the step 2? Which is this. Divide the first term, first term of this dividend with this. That is, you will divide 2x square by 2x. So what you will get here is x. So you will simply add x over here. And then you will multiply that x with 2x plus 1. Once you do that, you will get 2x square plus x. So you write here 2x square plus x. Then what is the next step? You subtract it from the result. So minus minus 2x square vanishes. This gives me minus x plus 1. Okay. So minus x plus 1. Again, I will go to the same step because this degree is same. It's not less than the degree of the denominator. So I will again follow the same procedure x upon 2x, x upon 2x, which will give me 1 by 2. So naturally, I will add 1 by 2 over here. And once I add 1 by 2 over here, when I multiply 1 by 2 with 2x plus 1, what I will get here is x plus half. So I will write that x plus half. But remember over here the num the thing was minus x. So I should what I should have done is I should have multiplied minus 1 to the x. That means minus x by 2. So the answer is minus half. And you will multiply minus half over here. So minus x this, this will not be plus, this will be minus half. So minus x minus half, which will be given a negative sign. So this will be plus x plus half. So I will get the answer to be equal to 3 by 2. Okay. So the answer is 3 by 2. So what is uh, what is what will be the resultant answer? This this should not be plus one minute. Let me make it very clear this cannot be plus this should be minus because i have to multiply with minus half hmm? and uh, here it is uh, the, the remainder is 3 by 2 so what i got here is x square plus x minus half and the rem as a quotient and the remainder is 3 by 2 so let me rewrite it again that is i got x square plus x minus half plus 3 by 2 upon 2x plus 1. This is what I got. Let me verify this result and uh, we have demonstrated the algorithm. Yes, x square plus x minus half plus 3 by 2 divided by 2x plus 1. This is how we will consider division of polynomials in general.